What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Zen Gold Label from 900 Global. If you're a fan of the channel, make sure you are subscribed. It really helps us out and keeps these reviews coming. There's a lot more on the way too, so be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out. All right, let's go. The original was so good, it literally coined the phrase Zen Ball good. 900 Global absolutely hit it out of the park with that initial Pearl release and has had mixed results at best with the concurrent offering in that same line. But in seeking to recapture that original magic, here comes the Zen Gold label. This piece is powered by the same low RG, high differential Meditate Core, this time wrapped in the Reserve Blend 801 Pearl cover stock, polished with that React to Gloss out of the box. According to 900 Global, this one is cleaner and more angular than the original, so to lean into that motion, we went with a 45 by 45 by 35 2LS layout. This is a stronger benchmark layout for me, and my hope is that with this layout, big angles to the fronts will be the best path to the pocket, especially when the lanes dry up. And on the lanes, there were two words to describe this gold label, clean and mean. The original Zen was stronger front to back, which tended to smooth its motion out at least a little bit. You could control the lane and the pocket for the most part. But with this new one, boy oh boy, this is an angular piece. It definitely doesn't have a problem getting through the fronts and mids as long as there is some oil, but once the gold label hits enough friction, it turns and does not stop turning. Continuation is the name of the game with this piece, and within the current SPI lineup, this is likely the one that generates the most angle through the pins. And while that's a risk, it's also the best thing about this piece. When you really need to drive through the pocket, this Zen Gold label will do just that. It might force you a little inside of where your comfort zone is like it did for me, but once you see it bounce off the spot and not deflect an inch through the pins, you'll get used to it. If I had stayed in the sweet spot on this lane, I really don't think I would have stopped striking as the performance was high, but also consistent in that sweet spot zone. But on the downside, the area where this Zen was great was a smaller window than I would have liked. Maybe it's just my inability to adjust, I don't know, but it was basically unusable on the outside part of the lane, and once I moved inside that ideal zone, it was hit and miss on whether it would pick up in the oil or blow past the break point. Also, the times I wheeled it too far outside, it was basically a guarantee I would leave a 3610 or worse. So it might not be the best one ball arsenal option, but when you pair this piece with the all new Exponent, which we will be reviewing soon, and a stronger ace in like an Absolute or the all new Roto Grip clone, that would give you a suite of shapes that are going to open up the pocket better than you might expect. When comparing this Zen Gold label to the Storm Phase 5, it is clear which one is better. The Phase 5 is weaker in core and in cover, and on this lane just doesn't stand up to the Gold label. There's definitely a time and a place where this very stable motion is in play, but it surely is not on this house shot. Looking at our cross-brand comparison, the Motive VIP EXJ Sigma looks to be on equal ground with the gold label in overall strength, with a little more mid-lane blend which is derived from the core. The Zen is more angular while the Sigma is a little more swoopy, but both look great, so it's really a matter of preference for your game. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with this piece. The first is high tilt players. It's not often I recommend high tilt players get a symmetrical pearl as most of the time they don't need the added length provided from the shiny cover, but every time I increased my tilt, the gold label looked even better. It's strong enough off friction to not blow past the spot when these players need to generate angle. The second is mid to low rev rate bowlers. When playing second arrow just isn't an option anymore, you need a ball to move inside with that will still get through the pins. So if your rev rate is below 400, you're going to love this new Zen as it will open up a whole new world of possibilities when you move your feet to the heart of the lane. The all new Zen Gold label is an update to a proven and almost legendary ball, but with its added striking power, it might just be the piece that gets you out of the bronze and silver spot and to the top of the podium. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to Ryan Shafransky for the layout and drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowler's Paradise. Peace.